Hey, what were the party crashers thinking? And we may hear an explanation come Monday. The Virginia couple set to appear on Larry King Live. Nancy Cordes tonight uh, has dug up an interview from the couple of months ago that now seems to provide a hint of the stunt that was to come. When Tariq and Mikhail Salahi waltzed past the White House cameras Tuesday night, they looked for all the world like they belonged there, except for one tiny detail. The minute I saw them, because I was surprised, I immediately grabbed the list and looked for their name and noticed that it wasn't there, which was very unusual. It wasn't there because they weren't invited. Even so, the Salahis managed to talk their way past the Secret Service and into the star-studded state dinner, where they cozied up to Vice President Joe Biden, media luminaries, even the Marines posted at the door. Then the Virginia couple hurried home to post the photos on Facebook, gushing, I was honored to be invited to attend the first state dinner. Unlike the big-time Obama donors and political heavyweights who snagged real invitations, Mikhail Salahi is best known for her rumored casting in Bravo TV's upcoming reality series, The Real Housewives of D.C. It's the newest entry in a popular franchise that features wealthy wives leading decidedly unreal lives. I have the luxury to be able to buy beautiful things. The Secret Service has launched an investigation into the security breach and says a preliminary probe reveals that proper procedure wasn't followed at one of their checkpoints. This is really consistent with the corner cutting that's been going on in the Secret Service ever since the Department of Homeland Security took over in 2003. We are here. We've arrived. Oh this is hardly the Salahi's first foray into the spotlight. She's a former Redskins cheerleader. He's involved in a public dispute over control of the family vineyard in Virginia. And in an odd bit of foreshadowing, the couple told CBS in a September interview to stay tuned and watch to see what they do next. President Obama has made it very accessible for anyone to visit the White you know, the White House, so that's like a big thing right now. They're trying While to some may see this as just another desperate stunt to get he cast on a reality TV show, such as Richard Heaney's runaway <laughs> balloon hoax from last month. We did this for the show. This time, the producers may have been in on the act. Erwin Gomez did Michaela's makeup that day. How many camera crews were filming you doing her makeup and then her getting her hair done? Just think about a production company, okay? Late today, representatives for the couple put out a statement insisting they, quote, did not crash this event. We look forward to setting the record straight very soon, they said. The question is, if they did crash the dinner, was it a crime or just a great story for the next cocktail party? Nancy Cordes, CBS News, The White House.